The sun, source of all heat and light for our planet, is a cosmic nuclear reactor producing the energy of approximately one trillion atomic bombs per second, supporting all plant and animal life. It provides us with more energy in one hour than all humanity can use in a year. What if we could harness this power and have an unlimited source of free, clean energy? According to a 2015 study by MIT researchers, we have the technology today to meet all of our energy needs from the sun and to replace this, this, and this with this. One of the most commonly used technologies is the photovoltaic solar panel, which converts sunlight directly into electricity. More and more people are installing them on the roofs of their businesses and homes to take advantage of the free energy. According to a 2016 study conducted by the U.S. Department of Energy, installing solar panels on all suitable rooftops in California could provide over 70% of the state's energy needs. Unfortunately, they have one drawback. While the source of energy is free, the panels themselves and their installation are not, costing anywhere from $10,000 to $35,000 for the average home. The systems have been affordable for the wealthy, but have been out of reach for people in moderate and low-income neighborhoods until now. In 2001, renewable energy engineers Eric and Mackey and Tim Sears had a vision to make solar panels available to everyone, not just the wealthy. In that year, they founded the nonprofit organization Grid Alternatives, opening their first office in Oakland, California. In 2007, they opened their second office in Los Angeles. For the past 10 years, they've continued to grow, with 10 offices in the U.S., and one in Nicaragua. In remote areas like Nicaragua, Nepal, and Indian reservations, they have provided off-grid independent systems with solar panels and battery storage. In most areas, however, that have grid access, they install systems that are connected to local utility lines, and their customers get dramatically reduced energy bills. In Los Angeles, they've helped over 1,100 low-income families go solar. And the cost to the homeowners? Absolutely nothing. Through a variety of funding sources that include governmental grants, rebates, and donations of money and solar equipment, Grid Alternatives can provide the equipment to homeowners for free. So what about the labor? The labor is a key element of the Grid Alternatives mission. Michael Kadish, executive director of the Greater Los Angeles office, explains why most of the labor is free. So our model is like Habitat for Humanity uh, in that we have a volunteer-driven model where people are volunteering on the day of the install, learning skills, and then going off to get jobs. Last year, in 2015, the solar industry grew by 20%. There are, at this point, I believe over 20,000 jobs in the solar industry in California alone. So this is a real bright spot in the economy and when people are getting these skills they're really able to find employment and importantly this is employment that might start at $15 an hour but can go up to $20, $25 an hour and beyond so it's a real pathway to middle-class jobs. I heard about Grid Alternatives about three years ago and I was in a community college in Santa Clarita my professor, Tom King, who ran our solar program, brought in Ottawa from Grid to do a little presentation about it. I decided to volunteer because I wanted to make a difference immediately, and I wanted, instead of sitting in a classroom and taking in this info, I wanted to use it as well. They pretty much threw me up on the roof. They had someone with me to show me all the ropes, so they helped me with the panels, place them where they go, get all the power tools. I don't even know what they're called still, but drill all the holes into the rafters, wire everything, make sure everything's hooked up safely and all soundly, and then we turn on the system and it's fun seeing the little meter go backwards. After two years of volunteering, Caroline ran into her former professor, Tom King, who had begun working as a regional operations manager at Solar City. He encouraged her to apply for a position with the company. She did and was hired shortly thereafter. 
So my job title is a permit coordinator, and that is someone who makes sure that all our rooftop systems are permitted for with the city. So everything with our building and our electrical permits, everything follows through correctly. Tom himself had volunteered with Grid Alternatives more than six years ago. I had a very good job. I loved my job. But I just felt like there was something more I should be doing, something world-changing. So I looked into energy. That got me interested in solar. And I found out about Grid Alternatives. Grid Alternatives is primarily an opportunity to get on a roof and install solar panels. Uh, there is no other way short of getting hired by somebody, which is really hard to do when you don't have any experience anyway, um, to actually get that experience. Okay, great. Got it. About three years ago, someone came into the office that I was working in with a DVD of somebody going out to different places around the world showing how you could put panels up and provide people with electricity. And I was hooked at that point. Approximately two years later, Raymond began taking classes in renewable energy at the East Los Angeles Skills Center. I first heard about grid alternatives about a year and a half ago. Um, one of the representatives from grid came to school class and did a presentation. And about June of last year, I went to volunteer, and I've been volunteering ever since. The people who I met when I first showed up at grid, they were very helpful, they were very informational, uh, informative to me, um, and they had a very kind spirit. They stressed safety, and they taught me a lot. After volunteering with Grid Alternatives for a year, Raymond was hired by Sustainable Electric Solutions, a Pomona-based energy systems provider. At Sustainable Electric Solutions, my job title is Electric Installer. I put up solar panels. I also do site surveys and renewables assessment. I enjoy working with Sustainable Electric Solutions. The guys are, that I work with, they're very good and they're very... They're expert at teaching, and they're very patient with somebody like myself just coming into the field for the first time. Homeowner Kathleen Premdis of Linwood, California, first heard about Grid Alternatives approximately two years ago at a senior center. One day I was at the club, and one of the ladies mentioned that tonight this group is coming to tell us about solar, and I decided to learn as much of it as I could. And that night they were taking applications, and I applied. She had been wanting to have solar panels put on her home for a long time, but had never hired anyone to do it. I thought it would be too expensive. I am the type of person that if I can't afford it, I'll do without it. About a month after applying, she was notified by Grid Alternatives that she qualified, and they scheduled an appointment with her to have the system installed. I was informed that the group coming to install it were all volunteers. I didn't know how many volunteers, but everyone seemed to be happy, upbeat, and the two days that they worked was beautiful. After studying her property, they decided that the best place to install the panels was her garage roof. After the panels were installed, Kathleen saw a change in her monthly electric bill. Prior to receiving the panels, it fluctuated between $40 to $100. And her monthly bills after the installation? I'm ashamed to say. <laughs> uh, right now, the bills are between 2 and $5. And the price of the entire system was right. This system, the whole system, given free for as long as it lasts. And if anything goes wrong with any of the panels, I was told to call them. I liked best that it didn't cost me. And second, I liked where it was placed. It's, it doesn't call attention to it. And I like very much the group, the volunteer group that put it up. They were very gracious people and it was a pleasure meeting them. I recommend solar panels to everyone. It was a wonderful gift. So the mission of Grid Alternatives is twofold. To provide free solar energy to people who could normally never afford it, and to give people the training and the opportunities to work in this booming industry. I'm excited about GRID. I've been excited since the first day I went up last year. My whole idea of going to school was predicated on getting into the solar industry. And that's what GRID afforded me the ability to do by giving me real hands-on experience. It was amazing volunteering with them. When you see the look on the homeowner's face, you see 
the relief and their, how grateful they are, and you could feel it. It's very rewarding. You're surrounded by a bunch of other people that are excited about trying this opportunity, and you're under the leadership of people who really know what they're doing and have worked for many years in the industry. So if your career involves solar installation, GRID is a phenomenal opportunity.